Hi everyone. Hi. Well, we had a little trouble connecting there, and we're Vonda and I are at home today, and and um, we've been asked to join to uh, to join together at noon today in the Lord's Prayer and spend the day in prayer for God's provenient grace to to intervene in the COVID-19 pandemic that's uh, striking our world. So and moving sweeping across our nation. So I'd like to begin the now as it's noon. Begin, and I would invite you to pray with us. Pray the Lord's Prayer. Let's go to the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And I hope that uh, you're taking time, not that you would stop your life or what you're doing today, but to uh, take some time as you move through your day to be in prayer. Join with millions and millions of folks to be in prayer today uh, for God's direct intervention in, in the COVID-19 pandemic that's, that's sweeping our world. I wanted to share um, uh, another prayer with you, but, but also I know Vonda has something very special that she would like to share with us as well. Vonda? No, go ahead. Okay. Well, I wanted to share one of my, one of my favorite uh, passages of Scripture is the 91st Psalm. There have been many times in my life when I have prayed daily over and over and over again the 91st Psalm, the Psalm of Protection. And I have a, uh, a, a beautiful prayer that is written. It's been adapted from the 91st Psalm, a prayer of protection for all of us. And I just invite you to, to listen to these words and accept them into your heart as a prayer for protection. Today, I will dwell in the secret place of the Most High, and so I abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Today, I say of the Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress, my God, in you I trust. Surely you deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. You cover me with your feathers, and under your wings I trust. Your truth is my shield and buckler. And so I'm not afraid for the terror by night, nor by the arrow that flies by the day nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. Only my eyes will look and see the reward of the wicked. Because I have made the Lord my refuge, even the Most High, my habitation, no evil befalls me, nor does any plague Come nigh my dwelling, for he gives his angels charge over me. They bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I tread upon the lion and the cobra, and the young lion and the serpent I trample underfoot. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore he delivers me. He sets me on high, because I have known his name. I call upon him. And he answers me. He's with me in trouble. He delivers me. And he honors me. He, with long life, he satisfies me. He shows me his salvation. In Jesus' name, I pray this. Amen. That's the 91st Psalm uh, adapted for prayer. And I just want to invite you to if, you know, look it up. You can look it up on your phone, wherever you are. Or you can look it up in your Bible. But I love that as a prayer of protection. I've used it all my life. Vonda, I'd like to invite you to share. I actually have not prepared anything because Jason said that he was going to uh, read that Psalms. And so I just want to reiterate that during this time of um, distancing from each other, you can still contact each other by way of text or phone. 
you can interact uh, in other ways on Facebook and so please reach out to your friends and your family and your neighbors and make sure they are okay. We, um, they said on the news that if we embrace the idea of being separate from each other for a while, um, then the pandemic will slow and the, the curve will flatten. So please abide by these rules absolutely as much as possible and realize the more we abide by those rules, the, the faster we can come back together as friends and family and a congregation. Thank you. So today we join together with millions of folks in prayer, prayer for God's direct intervention in this pandemic. I would ask that you pray the Lord's Prayer again later on today. But for now, I want to invite you to go in peace. Go in the knowledge that God is with us through our struggles, through the ups and downs of life, but especially in this time. <clears throat> go now in joy, the joy that God is providing for us, the joy that it comes from our relationship with Him. Go now in love. Go now in the love that is poured out freely to us and, and that we are asked to then share freely with others. We love you. And we pray that you have a blessed, protected, and awesome day. Bye-bye for now. Amen. We love you. Amen. Bye.